Drosby Jack Captains, this round two adventure sees us once again in the Soviet Navy's Tier 9 destroyer slash cruiser Udaloy. It's been over a year since my first video on this sucker, and my first game back in her, I clearly forgot how to play her. My, oh my. For most matchups, what you want to do in your Russian destroyers is again stay at your maximum effective range. You want to be in that zone between your friendly American and Japanese destroyers and your friendly cruisers. That's where you really want to hang. Nope! And what made that even worse was actually running into a fan in the game. <laughs> oh, how embarrassing! <laughs> and truth be told, the second game wasn't any better. But by the third game, that's right, folks. That's right! I'm back in the saddle again. Whoopie tie, I oh, rockin' to and fro, back in the saddle again. Whoopie tie, I yeah, I go my way, back in the saddle again. <laughs> Yeehaw, y'all, that's right. Fitch is back in the saddle in the oodle, we're kickin' some butt. <laughs> And this, in this round two adventure, we're gonna try to kick some butt on the map shots. We are, of course, top tiered. And you can see it's only 10v10 because I tell you, captains, this game was played in the wee hours in the morning, which some of y'all may know as Sparrow's Fought. <laughs> Boy, right, so, moving into my captain skills for my new Udaloy captain, I got preventative maintenance to keep my stuff working, last aid to keep moving, demo for fires, and AFT for range. I am, of course, going to go for concealment expert because currently my concealment is 8 kilometers with the module, and so too are my torpedoes. So with the concealment expert captain, I believe it will bring that concealment down by almost another kilometer, which in my opinion will transform this Udaloy into an Anshan, which is what I'm really excited about getting back into. The other skills that I'm really interested in are Adrenaline Rush, then there's a toss up between Superintendent for more Go Go Fast and Smoke or Survivability Expert to increase my Beefcake Heal Pool. <laughs> and my module is pretty basic, aiming, reload and concealment, premium consumables and then my flags run the speed, the anti-debt and a couple of flags to compound the fire and flooding damage that I hope to dish out. All right, well, with the northwesterly spawn and being one of three DDs, the other two are up at the C cap. I'm going to proceed slow and low towards the B cap, trying to drag my Baltimore along with me. I do have an eye in my mind about maybe smoking out my Balti so that he can utilize his radar and his fire starting capabilities with his front guns to go bow on and say, screw you all, guys. Oh, okay, okay, tally-ho. Now, I do got to be mindful about rushing into caps early since I don't have any U.S. or Japanese blockers running out in front of me. There is a A-cap that's been tripped, so definitely a one Fletcher is down there. The other one is probably going to be coming into B, so I need to start positioning myself. And I am detected! Oh, I need to start running away, running away. Where is he? Eight kilometers distance. His is probably around 5.8, so crap, crap. Might as well start shooting at the Bismarck, the first big ugly I see. And there he is. There is the Fletcher. He is shooting out of my paws, trying to close the distance on me but I'm already turning and burning away and landing some big old shots, 1800 points of damage with all six guns landed, boom, 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 boom. Oh, there's some big white lead coming in on him too, hitting him hard. He set me on fire, of course, but I did use my damage control now because I am popping smoke, trying to get concealed. He's still gonna be lit for a wee bit long. I'm laying into him still hardcore and then, boom, boom, good night. Baltimore, exactly what I wanted him to do, come with fetch and blast the crap out of any little DD <laughs> that was intended to do me harm. And he did take me for almost 4,000 points of damage, but the Fletcher is no more. And I racked up around 8,600 points of damage on that Fletcher. Nice, nice, nice. Now I did pop my smoke as I was trailing away because I knew that Fletcher was gonna be detected. And I was hoping maybe that Baltimore would come in there with me, but you know, it's okay, and, and I couldn't extend it all the way out because my, my smoke isn't the longest lasting, at least for the deployment. And oh, 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 torpedoes, torpedoes. Those come from the Fletcher? Oh my God, was it, was it got sim torpedoes on, man? They took forever to get there. We killed that guy like a minute ago, and those torpedoes are still swimming towards me. I mean, he's only six kilometers away, but <laughs> what in the world? 
Oh, GG's. Oh, hilarious. But speaking of six kilometers, I got six kilometer range torpedoes because this is before I upgraded to the eight kilometer range. So I am living in hope that I'm gauging this Pensacola who's eight and a half and closing the distance and probably gonna hug that east side of that island. So I'm figured, well, maybe the two torpedoes and the Pensacola will meet at the six kilometer range. And if anything, I can just scare the ever 11 tar out of him. <laughs> he sees the torpedo indicator. But hopefully I can punch a couple of holes in his hull. Now I do the same thing for this Bismarck because I believe the Bismarck is probably gonna try to hug one of the sides of this island. I'm betting on the west side because we have the majority of our fleet is trapped over there. And yes, look at that torpedo. It is on the money. Oh, <laughs> butter's out, but watch out, watch out. We got some uglies moving in through the A-cap, and we know that there was a Fletcher that was over there. So the Yorkie, there's got to be a Fletcher on his side as well. Their fleet has really gone hard into B-cap. All the big uglies are, are gathering there. So let us uh, start the engagement. Let's try to hold this flank and keep these guys at bay. Unleash on the Pensacola. I know that Yorkie is going to be coming around that island pretty soon. And oh, whoa, 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 tally-ho, tally-ho. There is a Fletcher. Four bugger smurf. You done messed up. Six kilometers. He is. Oh, bo -bo. oh 3,700 points of damage. And I knock at his engine. It's going to slow him up a little bit because I guarantee he's got last stand. Oh, he just used his damage control. Oh, if I can light a fire. Oh, those all missed. <laughs> if I can light a fire, that is going to hurt him so severely. I got to expect smoke is going to be coming out of him pretty soon. Yep, there is some smoke. Come on, fetch. Land some of those targets. He's got a Yorkie big brother in tow trying to do me hum as well. Look at that HE coming from him. Oh, come on. Fetch that aim was bad, <laughs> but I land one more shot. He knocks out my steering, but I still have last stand, so I can keep puttering away. And now, oh, there he is! There he is! What? I don't know what he's doing. Oh, he just disappeared back into the ether. <laughs> oh, I think did he actually connect and knock out my engine? Wow! Well, good on you for being able to hit me that far away. But, but. Bismarck Bismarck has done run himself aground at 12 kilometers, 12 and a half kilometers away. So let's see if I can light a fire, reset the base. Excellent. Because look at our team. Our team has really bait balled up there and see, but not too many of them are going to be able to actually engage any of these guys. But hopefully I can light that biz on fire. I am still worried about that Yorkie. I'm trying to, again, keep my smoke. Oh, there's a fire. Excellent. Right before he disappears. Because I got our Baltimore right there and I'm thinking, okay, maybe I can use my smoke to protect him because we got the Fletcher there. And oh, ooh, ooh, incoming, I think from that Bismarck. He did not like me lighting him on fire, I think, so. Anyway, okay, Yorkie's on that side, Fletcher, Bismarck's, and then everybody else. <laughs> so, like I said, I wanted to use my smoke meter to, to hide out my, my Baltimore, smoke him out. Maybe he would turn around on the east side of this island here, but I'm not quite sure what our boys are doing. I was thinking, oh, maybe this hood, he's heading in the, the wrong direction, if we're to be honest. <laughs> he does not want to go that way with the Frederick the Great, the Gato, and the Bismarck. I think there was another Nagato down there too. Oh, there's the enemy Baltimore. Okay, good. Radar ship, I know where the radar ship now is. He is well and good away from the radar range from me. Good, good, good. All right, all right, well, circling back out because I see a lot of battleships down there that are screaming for some fires. <laughs> oh, and my Bismarck, he is freshly out, so he is ready to be lit on fire yet again. Come on, come on. Can we get a fire with the HD? I know that Frederick the Great, he is showing me some chin, and he's getting jiggy trying rolling on our boys, but yes, there's a fire. Nice chunk of damage as well, so I'm going to watch that biz burn. Now, let's see if I can compound this Fred. He is already on fire, so he's probably... Oh, oh, oh. Yep, Yorkie, Yorkie is back again, 10 kilometers away, so I need to start moving moving and trying to increase the distance between us because that is danger zone even for a cruiser oh and i got a fire lit a fire oh and he put it out oh let us make you pay for that mistake because that cruiser cooldown means he is susceptible to fires like almost immediately like almost now there's another fire on the yorkie as he's turned away so that means for about 55 seconds or so that is gonna burn him something fierce so can i land another do land another fire there's two fires burning on that yorkie as he's trying to run away oh beautiful Beautiful, beautiful, and his little Fletcher buddies. Do you heard those splashing the whole time? <laughs> He's trying to hit me in hope at 14 kilometers away with his little rainbow US guns. <laughs> oh, I think not. Oh, I want to try to compound some of this misery on this Yorkie because he's got two fires brought in for about 40 seconds. Oh, but he is running away, and look, the Fred at the Great is out on. Oh, he is on fire again. Never mind. Let's see if I can add another fire onto him. 
really compound his misery. Just spread the misery around. That's what I want to do. Oh, Bismarck is out again. Come on, can I light you a fire for a third time? <laughs> Por favor. Oh, he's turning a little bit. Those are probably going to miss. Oh, I did Binko for about 600. Come on, come on. <laughs> I want to light this guy on fire again. Oh, he's, he's just hating me right now. I definitely am moving up the charts of kill of the, on the kill list <laughs> for that Bismarck. But oh, and I do light him on fire again for 2200 points of damage as well. Nice, excellent. Well, Fletcher, the other Fletcher, he just swung back in, is now smoking out his Frick the Great. I like to see. Oh, boo! Why wasn't that a fire on that Frederick the Great? Okay, okay, Nagato, you look a little uncharred, buddy. Let's see if I can light a little fire on you. Oh, dick. Little Japanese barbecue, little hapachi, and oh, those bink, bink, bink. <laughs> come on, come on. Can I get a fire? 1700 points of damage. Now, the AP is very brutal on this ship, but against angled opponents, guys, you do not want to use it. You want to stick to the HE like that. Bismarck, it was just burning away. I could probably switch up to the AP on him because he is burning. Oh, incoming, incoming. Oh, this is dangerous. 10 kilometers away. Turn, turn, turn. Get skinny. Oh, oh, okay. He tickles me in a bad way. See, I did swap up to the AP to work on that Bismarck, but he is now turning shallow onto me. So let's swap up back up to the HE because he is out and he's got about a 15 second window and he is aiming towards me which means he is in the burning death zone <laughs> for the Udaloi. Of course I gotta hit him and I do <laughs> my fourth fire on the Bismarck. Oh he is pissed off. He is just he is just the red mist has descended and all he sees is Udaloi. I want the Udaloi. <laughs> 1500 points of damage. Take out an AA. He fires his butt guns towards my paws. 1500 again. Nice, nice, nice. And splish splash all around me. 11 kilometers, increasing the distance. He is decreasing in health very, very quickly. And now he is done for the awesomest kill. Excellent. <laughs> Poor Biz. I feel for you, mate. This Udaloi can punish guys who get singled out all by themselves. Much like how carriers can punish ships that are all by themselves, this Udaloi can do that for days. Oh my goodness. And speaking of punishment, we got Nagato is the only guy I can see left, but I know there's a whole hunk of chunk of big uglies there in B cap, and that was the last known position of the little scumbag DD. And we got a Chud Yorkie sailing somewhere north of A. In the meantime, let us just burn us a Nagato. What the hell, man? <laughs> oh, oh, there's the other Nagato as well. Oh, and there it is. There's a fire burning that apartment complex on his dick down to the ground. Come on, come on. Lay some more into you. Now, again, I could be swapping up to AP here. He is showing me some bit of a broadside, but I knew I was going to be swapping up to this Nagato, so I wanted to keep my HE loaded, and you know, if I could start two fires on him, he was going to stay within my kill zone, so if he used damage control, that lovely Japanese cooldown, he would have been susceptible to fires again, <laughs> and then I could have relit him on fire, because see, he's still burning, nice, 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 awesome, and oh, there's the Yorkie, the Yorkie is still alive, and see, the Nagato, he done put it out as well, oh, excellent, see, that's what I was talking about with the first Nagato, Nagato number one, because now Nagato number two is susceptible to being burned again and he again is turning on to the Udaloi closing the distance increasing the time that he can stay within my burning love zone <laughs> as I relay that Nagato on fire yet again so he's gonna burn for at least about a minute or so oh the Yorkie is oh 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 the Yorkie's no more never mind never you mind hello Nagato and I do gotta watch out oh there is the wither and the high caliber excellent day now the Nagato is a bit of a sniper ship and can be quite potent at these ranges you know 11 kilometers I need to extend it and I got another fire which is gonna burn for probably 25 30 seconds as well so I did swap up to the AP Cohen Frederick collected he is trying to turn and burn away he is burning quite nicely I gotta say that oh 850 but he's still within my AP kind of angling and you can see oh 3,000 points of damage with the armor piercing into the Nagato come on 800 though <laughs> <laughs> so he's no oh, oh incoming incoming i am closing the distance on him so this is kind of dangerous get skinny get skinny and oh 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 ow, ow, oh he hits me kind of good i told you that nagato can be dangerous so i'm trying to turn out and unfortunately i missed time to turn and 
The big, big, big. Oh, he pinks me, but I'm laying into the pinkage back on him. A thousand here, seven hundred there, now fifteen hundred here. So, excellent. I think it's about time to switch up to the HE because his fire is probably going to get burnt out, and I just want to use oh, 1300 points of damage. Nice. And he succumbs to my fires. Oh my goodness gracious, that combination between that HE and the AP on that ship alone shows you still, guys, what the Oodaloid can do when you swap up between the HE and the AP. Especially that HE, when the guy comes into your kill zone and utilizes that damage control, you know you have at most with the US ships 20 seconds in which he is going to be immune to your fire starting potentials. And so just keep laying on that HE because you will light him on fire again and he will burn a lot then you swap up to the ap and just lay into him if i was ever close the distance or was able to utilize my smoke on that guy and lay into that broadside oh you see some massive numbers oh and there is the fletcher he had done made himself all the way over to the c cap and has capped it out but he's got less than a thousand hit points left so i'm thinking that hood is probably going to be able to good night him mosh gosh but you know kill secure maybe i did lay into him pretty good i think i worked from for about eight or ten thousand points of damage so <laughs> let's see if i can pull a tough guy though and kill secure this guy i can't really see him which way i thought he was going right and i thought he was going left now it looks like he's just going in the island and he is going down as we sail on to victory to the tune of 171,000 points of damage off of 285 shell strikes, 12 fires, one plane shot down. That was nice. I didn't even catch that during the game. <laughs> Four Confederate high caliber witherer and the arsonist awards. Who finish taps of the chest with 2313 base experience in the tier 9 matchup with only 10 v 10 slash 9 for the opponent. I guess somebody got disconnected, but still only gets 9 live ships, 171,000 points of damage from the Oodaloy. And we can see that damage spread out, especially in that HE. 464 shots fired, 284 landed for just under 78,000 points of damage. AP, not the greatest to return, but still, you know, 13 and a half thousand points of damage off of AP, but I didn't use it all that much. It says 72 shells, but I'm firing six a time, you know, with a four second reload. So that can rack up pretty quickly, but I guarantee had I run into that Yorkie or that Pensacola, oh my God, if I ran into that Pensacola broadside, I would have just sit wrecked in for days. But that fire damage, 12 fires for 80,000 points of damage. Because those were 12 beautifully timed fires for guys who put it out, were still in my kills and who were, were coming towards the Oodle. I talked about my rune, nobody wants to get within that 15 climber zone. Well, you want to stay at that 14 climber zone. And if guys come into your kill zone as you're rolling away from them and they put their first fire out, you will burn them to pieces. And just keep laying into the HE until you get that fire, then swap up to the AP to give them some holy Hannah, good night Russian ape, strunk AP. <laughs> and after Texas with a premium account in the tier nine, wow, 300,000 credits, which is the standard account though, 136, not a bad payday for the Oodaloy in a reduced matchmaking game. All right, captains. Well, that was my round two adventure in my Udaloy. I am grinding up and almost towards my Groshevoy as they diverted the road to Hobarovsk. <laughs> so I'll be working on that here, PDQ. But in the meantime, I hope you all learned a little bit about the Udaloy. And as always, how not to Udaloy. But in any case, I hope you all at least enjoyed the video. So thank you all for watching as always. And until next time, I will see you all in game. Have fun. Pharisees.